Capricorn. Welcome to February. So I pulled all of this information like I did last month on your color energy of the month, your crystal of the month, your lucky days, your unlucky days, which chakras you got to work on, all that stuff. But I feel like in this reading, because I also want to hopefully for February do love readings as well for every sign since Valentine's Day, I'm just going to go back to the way we used to kind of do things and um, give you kind of the general vibes. Just start pulling cards and seeing what's coming up for you in February. And then I'll post that information either on the Facebook um page or maybe I will send that out in an email. So if you're not already connected to through my website to um, receive emails, I only send one a month usually uh, just to say like, hey, if there's a coupon code, here it is. And here's who won the free reading. So that's a good way to get signed up for the free reading drawing as well. Um, I might do it that way. I might make more videos. I'm not sure yet, but I just didn't want this video to be like a thousand years long. So um, stay tuned for that, for all of those things, and we'll just get started with your energies for this month. The exception to what I was talking about is I do want to give you your lucky days and your unlucky days for February, and um, I get eight, the 18th is your lucky day for February, and then you have something interesting, like a very interesting message from Spirit, and they say that um, every day of February will be unlucky if you can't let the past go. We will keep reminding you of <laughs> um, how shitty it's going to feel to hold on to resentments every single day. So they're asking you to kind of change mindsets here to address something, to let go of something or someone or a mindset from the past. Maybe that'll become more clear in our reading what that is for each of you. Um, but they're going, they're just saying like, you know, until you decide to let something go, this might not be a very happy month for you. Um, so let's work on it. You know, let's get through it because then we can have many awesome days, especially the 18th. Okay, so what they're saying is, first and foremost, what you need in February is the is rest. They're saying there's like a lot of chaos going on, and a lot of this can be mental. A lot of some of this can be outside forces. For some of you, this could be um, as a result of chemicals, whether that is diet or whether you're doing a bunch of drugs or you know maybe it's a new medication you started. But there's a lot of stuff going on here, and it's actually starting to make you feel ill. Okay, so the rest is very important for you in that regard, uh, but there's just like so much going on. And so what they're saying is this month can be a month where you have a lot of happiness, where you just feel like, okay, finally, finally I'm in this happily ever after energy. Like I'm overflowing with joy, with love, with like all, with peace, like all of this just, you know, happiness and contentment and like sunshiny vibe. And you know, what's interesting is cancer had a very similar message here um, to this, but it does require you to get some sleep first and foremost to, to rest. And then they're saying, if you do not see that, you know, moving forward to be more optimistic, to be calm, to trust that the universe has your back, that God or the angels or whatever you believe has your back, that the world is a benevolent place, you know, full of love and harmony, you're not going to be one of those lucky Capricorns who gets to experience that, to be frank and to be honest, okay? They're saying you need a time out. You need to know that it's time to chill in certain areas of your life. Some of you might be going too hard, too fast, working too much. Um, and they're saying it's good to talk about these things. It's good to talk with other people or even to do this through prayer or meditation, you know, with yourself even about what is going on. Where is all this chaos coming from? Why am I getting all of these messages, you know, from different areas and sentiments because it's making you feel sick and you, you've really got to address it this month. It's very similar to Cancer's energy. So I actually want to shift um, decks here quickly and see what we get. Okay, warmth. And so remember how I was saying like, oh, you know, all this joy and warmth and like sunshiny energy. Look at that. That's right here for you. And so what they're saying is, um, you know, with that fool in reverse card where they're saying, hey, this is the alternative. If you can open up that heart chakra and um, 
really express a lot of joy and love, especially in your verbal communications to other people, that would be helpful for you. Here's an affirmation where it says, like, what emerges from my heart finds its way into daily life. And so the more that you can express, you know, gratitude, joy, happiness, and focused energy, the more that's going to play out in your life throughout the month of February. And things will just get better and better and better. Um, another one, my expressions of warmth will contribute to the well-being of other people. But it's also going to contribute to the well-being of yourself. And like uh, positive psychology is like a new field of psychology. But the one thing that they can uh, actually like numerate where they can prove this is the more that you give to other people um, the better you feel a lot of people come out of depressions actually quicker they've proven this um, you know quicker than through medication help or even talk therapy help by just simply being a nice person by giving to other people whether that's encouragement support love um, time whatever that is and so look at these hands where they're giving right and it's giving them joy so being in that energy of um, the the spirit of giving you know like uh, it's not necessarily giving of gifts but it could be or money or time or energy love you want to give a lot this month it's um this is like your new Christmas season, okay? <laughs> uh, my joy of giving happiness to others adds to my own contentment. I didn't even see that until after my little rant right there. Yeah, another perfect affirmation, right? None of this shit is coincidence. Spirit works in, like, miraculous ways. Um, warmth binds me to others and diffuses hurtful emotions. So not only, remember how I talked about, like, the quickest way out of depression is to give to other people? It's true because it heals you on the inside as well. So that's cute. That's special. That's wonderful. What else for Capricorns in February? Ooh. So um, here's the thing. This is really important because what happened was these cards flipped out and then they hid themselves back in the deck. And so they're saying this is an energy that is coming and going. Okay, and it's somewhat hidden to a lot of you. So some of you might watch this video right when it comes out and it doesn't make sense. And then boom, February 15th hits and you're like, oh, I get what she's talking about now. So you might want to bookmark it and come back to it. What they're saying is a mindset shift. Okay, the hanged man forcing yourself to see things from a different perspective is the key here. And at certain times of the month, this is going to be easier for you than other times, but this is absolutely pivotal in order to achieve the 10 of discs energy, which is like security, stability for your long-term happiness and goals and fulfillment. To understand that everything is okay, or it's going to be okay, that you're on the right track, that everything that you want in the material world will come to you. And that's possible. And, um, it's something that you can feel a lot of joy and, you know, enthusiasm for. Like I said, with that Ten of, Ener Ten of Cups energy earlier, um, you know, because for Capricorns especially, like Earth signs in general, knowing what is next and that you're on the right path and that things are safe and secure and you have a good plan is a big part of your happiness, okay? But they're saying to, in order to get there and to start seeing the benefits of those things flowing to you, it is going to require a mind shifts uh or a mindset shift for you in the month of february you need to see things from a different perspective um okay so they're saying you know they want you to consider the smallness of your needs and the treasures of what you already possess expressing gratitude for those things and maybe giving away some of your things um that no longer spark joy like as marie kondo would say right and for I made a post about this like maybe two months ago. Um, if you want a free copy of the book on Audible, it's somewhere in my Facebook feed. Because I read that book and I was like, hell yeah. To be honest, I don't like the Netflix series though. It actually doesn't spark joy for me. So, but it's not about me. Anyway, discernment before a passionate encounter leads to the magic of love. And here is Astrid, the spirit kitty, coming to say this is a very important message. So, um... Basically, where did I go with that? Okay, um, kind of deciding, okay, what is it I'm passionate about? Does this really spark joy for me, right? Whether that is like a passionate encounter of love or whether that is a passionate encounter, you know, of like, hey, this is a job I'm really excited to take. Not this is like a long-term plan that is good for me. This is something I'm enthused about or um, this is something that's smart. 
You know, this is what Capricorn needs to be thinking about. Because you know what? Naturally, in the world, the universe is going to conspire to make sure that if you love something, if you're passionate about it, that it will open doors of opportunity. Maybe not the ones that you thought. But different things can happen for you, you know, if you're focused on those love energies. You want to be focused on what brings you joy this month as opposed to what is smart or safe because the safety will come later as a result of that, okay? So they're saying expect a miracle. Oh my gosh, you see what I'm talking about? Nothing is coincidence. Um, expect a miracle once you find that passion once you find that joy you see she's got this umbrella this this uh and it's red you know the color of passion over her it's going to protect her from anything that she needs protection from so something will come into your life that serves as healing be open to it open that umbrella um express gratitude when it occurs very important for capricorns this month your goal Know that the world becomes a vessel for the divine when you see the divine in things. I couldn't have, like, picked that intentionally <laughs> better. Okay, so they're saying this isn't something that you need to talk about with others. This can be a very internal process for you this month, but you do need to start thinking about what is it that I hope for? What is it that I wish for? What is it that I dream about, that I desire? And, you know, you don't have to worry about how the things that you love will provide opportunity for you. You just have to trust that they will. So that is February, and I look forward to speaking with you more about your love lives and all the other stuff I mentioned. Okay, ciao. and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!